Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this lesson we are going to study equations that have the variable on both sides. But before we get into that, we need to practice simplifying just a little bit, and I think this is very easy, so we should be able to go through it quickly. Let's say you have 2x plus x plus 4x. How can we simplify that? Well, just think of the x as being, for example, bananas. 2 bananas plus a banana plus 4 bananas. You just add the 2 and 4 and 1, and you get 7, and so the answer is 7x. Or here, 5x minus 6x. Now, if I asked you 6x minus 5x, then you can say that it is x, right? But here, 5x minus 6x, just subtract those numbers 5 and 6. Go 5 minus 6, that's negative 1. And so, then just tag the x into it. It's negative 1x, or negative x, simplified. Here's negative a plus 4a minus 2a. Basically, just think of it here being negative 1, and then here 4 and negative 2, and then in your mind do the calculation negative 1 plus 4 minus 2, and then tag a into the answer. We have negative 1 here and negative 2, so we have in total 3 negatives, and then plus 4. So 4 positives, 3 negatives leaves us 1 positive, just 1a, or just simply a. Negative 2y minus 7y. This is like the problem negative 2 minus 7. That would be negative 9. But we have the y there, so it is negative 9y. And this one here, 5b minus 7b minus 3b. You can see there's minus 7 and minus 3, so there's actually negative 10 and then 5. Negative 10 and 5 let, uh, leaves us negative 5. So this is negative 5 and then b. Don't forget the b, the variable. We don't actually need even this complex calculations in these equations. Now let's start here with an equation where the variable is on both sides. It's here and on the other side too. Okay, the principle to solve this is very simple. You already know that principle. We have used it with just numbers. And that is that we don't want x on both sides. We want to get rid of this x on this side. So to do that, we subtract x from both sides, and so then that gets rid of this one here. And I'm going to mark it here in my marginal note again. This is my margin. I'm going to subtract x from both sides. Now on this side we will therefore get 2x, and then there's the plus 5, and then there's the subtract x. And on this side we get x minus x. Well, that would be 0. Let me simplify it right off. Now, here we simplify 2x minus x. It's like 2 bananas minus a banana. So we're left with just x and then the 5. So x and 5. And now, as usual, we get rid of this plus 5 by subtracting 5 from both sides. And then that leaves x alone, and over here, 0 minus 5, or negative 5. And you should always check that this works x equals negative 5, 2 times negative 5, negative 10, and then plus 5 would be negative 5, equals x, which is negative 5, so it checks. 7x here, negative 3x on the other side. Okay, if we want to get rid of this negative 3x on this side, then we add that, we add 3x, right? Negative 3x and 3x then we'll cancel each other and leave a zero on that side. So we will have a zero on this side. On this side, what do we have if we add 3x? The 7x already. Add 3x, so we get 10x. And minus 5. And now, the subtract 5, so we add 5 to both sides. And then that gets rid of that. So we have 10x alone. And on this side, 5. And our last step is now to divide both sides by what? Right, 10. Divide both sides by 10. And so we get x alone, and over here we get 5 divided by 10, which is 1 half. Here, negative 6a here, and a on this side. The variable is on both sides. 
But I want to get rid of one of these, either this or that, so that I have my a, the variable, only on one side. So let's say that I get rid of this one, and I subtract a from both sides. On this side, a subtract a, so those cancel, and then I'm left with this 2 alone. On this side, negative 6a minus a. So that would give me negative 7a, right? Then plus 7 is still there. And now I want a, or the term with a, this negative 7a alone here on this side, so I need to get rid of this plus 7. And of course, for that, I would subtract 7 from both sides. So that leaves now negative 7a. On this side, 2 minus 7, negative 5. And now, I need to divide by negative 7. And then that leaves a alone. Over here we have negative 5 divided by negative 7. And it's a division of negative by a negative, so the answer is positive. Positive 5 over 7. 5 7. Next one. Let me make my margin here. Okay. I want to have my y terms on this side, not on that side. So, to get rid of this negative y, I add y, right? Add y to both sides. And this leaves here, this becomes 3y now. This minus i doesn't change, neither does the minus 2. And now I want to get rid of this negative 8 on this side, so that I will have alone the term with y on this side. So to get rid of negative 8, I add 8. Okay, and we have 3y alone now. On this side I need to add a negative 2 plus 8. That would be 6. And then, lastly again, we divide both sides by 3. So we get y equals 2.